It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today we are here for some Survivor gameplay. Now, right now I'm at the beach. I'm having fun. I'm just kind of chilling out. Nice little weekend break from the grind of school and stuff like that. But today I thought we'd bring some Survivor's gameplay. Now, I'm going to be honest. The Wi-Fi hotels are absolutely awful. I mean, I'm sure you guys have had this problem where you're just at a hotel. You want Wi-Fi, but it doesn't do anything. It's really slow. And it can be a total bummer sometimes, but luckily, the hotel I'm at has some of the best hotel Wi-Fi I've ever had. So, I'm here to bring you some gameplay straight from the hotel of where I am. So, while we're here, we are going to be kind of checking out a little beachy area, because I'm at the beach. And in my mind, there's several beachy areas on this map. And one that comes to mind is always Mexico City. I mean, that's kind of near the Gulf it's a nice area, but they also have New Orleans. I think they have some, I think they have a beachy area, maybe. I don't know. Uh, we also got Seattle, San Francisco. What's over here? Vancouver. I'm feeling Mexico City. I like Mexico City. Y'all know that. What's over here? Is this Manila? Let's go hit a Manila first. If y'all haven't seen Manila before, it's pretty epic. Because as you guys know, if you're starting off, you can't beat Manila unless you have this bad boy, the Destructor. And I'm gonna bring my I'm gonna bring all my little level one guys. I actually have a level one machine gunner, which is actually really clutch because I've been needing him. I can actually use him to upgrade maybe. I think I need two to upgrade to past level 31, I believe. So I'm gonna need another one. But still, until I do get him, it's gonna be really nice to have. So right here, Manila, the Isle of Fear. Now, if you guys try to go up against this without destructor, you guys are gonna have a very tough time because you're not gonna be able to beat it. It's just not gonna be possible. But with destructor. Anything's possible because he is absolutely a beast. So I'm just going to put down some machine gunners here and put down one back here by him. Let's put down some desperados. Put one here. Let's put a couple here. Let's get some researchers over here. They're just going to do stuff. I really want to upgrade them, but I only have one. So I'm kind of at the dilemma here. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do yet, but. Destructor just tears things up, and as you guys, I've seen, I've done this a lot, I talk about this so much, but when you stim the Destructor, he turns into a, literally a machine gunner, and I just love showing this off, just because it's such a sick animation, it's absolutely terrorizing, it just tears through everything, I love watching it, I just have so much fun with it, I love seeing it, that's just one of my favorite things to do, personally. But as we are rolling, there's lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of brutes and drones here. And we're just tearing them up. Destructor, stim. Let's stim him up. And he's just going to tear through this group here. Look at that. Sending tons of blades just slicing through these guys. So I'm going to drop that Mazel Tov cocktail right there. Drop some of those drones and just keep rolling. Looks like we got some drones here. I'm going to throw down another Desperado here. They're going to kind of help out a little bit. They're not going to do too much because they are level 1. But as you can see, the battle between Aftershock and Destructor is raging. I'm stimming up my Destructor, and he's just pretty much going to go to town on this guy. I'm going to drop another Desperado back here just because I can, and I want to. So let's stim up the Destructor. One final ginormous shot on Aftershock, and it finishes him off completely. Wow. That was quite a showdown. So that was pretty much a pretty epic showdown between Aftershock and my own Destructor. You know it'd be cool if you could name it, make it your own, personalize it a little bit, personalize that custom. You know what would be really cool? You customize Destructor by adding different cool parts to it. That'd be actually really cool. I'd really enjoy that. So that's pretty sweet. Guild is coming along pretty darn well. Check it out. World Zamination Nation. Level 16. We are just rolling up here. Legion is just being a beast up here. 107,000 XP. Almost at level 50. He is almost there. It is absolutely extraordinary. All right, so let's get another attack in. Then we're going to call it a day just because it's late. I'm ready to get some sleep. TBH. It's been a long week. The grind of school is just real. As a lot of you may know or have known in your past, school is tough. It is very tough, but it's good. So let's get some of those crates here. You know what, let's throw it back to, mm, do you want to go back to Rome again? I kind of do. It was interesting. It was a tough battle, but I had fun with it. So I'm going to bring my commando, machine gunner, of course. Mercenaries a must. Sharpshooters a must. I 
All right, guys, sorry for that quick little interruption. Someone started calling my phone, and it kind of messed some stuff up, but we're back. We're going to finish off this one battle, and where I left off, Scattershot, my absolute favorite. I love my Scattershot and Mercenaries dearly. I'm going to throw in this Spec Ops as well. And for the final one, let's throw in my Deadshot. I still need to get my Deadshot to level 10, but that's a work in progress. I'm going to get there eventually, but slow and steady always wins the race. So let's defend Room on hard. It's just the event is just about to end. So I thought let's just get that final attack in. Why not? YOLO. I mean we only live once. So why not go for it? Alright, so Rome. Load for me. Come on. Play some bad guys. Play it balancing difficulty. Okay, here we go. The grind begins. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna throw down a machine gunner back here. And something I actually really like about this is that I'm going to be able to throw a machine gunner back here. Let's throw two snipers in here. Pull them in towards the middle just a little bit more so they're going to be more involved here. Move this guy back a little bit. And, hmm, probably could have used my dead shots. That probably would have been good, but it's not really the biggest deal since I didn't. So let's actually, I'm going to throw my two dead shots in here actually. And I'm going to throw in a commando here as well just because... The way that this map is built, where kind of like, let's see how I can explain this a little bit. We have uh, some pretty scary little ninja guys, the assassins, and they're pretty much invisible until they kind of make a move or they can be seen. And some of these guys won't be able to see them, so those commanders are going to help kind of spray and pray, get them seen, and that way we'll be able to take them out nice and easy. So that pad is absolutely stacked. I'm going to be focusing a lot of my attention over there just because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun to see. Now, over here, let's throw down a pretty solid group. Here's what I'm actually going to do. Do we have any guys that can jump over walls? We don't. All right, so I'm going to put two machine gunners here and then three mercs. And we're all going to be in this little tight space and we're going to have a lot of fun. All right, so right here, we're going to have my dream team. Let's pull in all these guys right towards this little middle section here. Bang, bang, bang. Put down all those guys. Put down a merc. Three spec ops. Commando, you can help out a little bit too. So you in the mix. So let's start the waves. I think these places are going to be locked down. We'll check in on them in just a little bit. But right here off the bat, you can see those assassins pretty much just taken out by those dead shots and snipers. Runners trying to get past, but they just can't. Getting snipers from each position, from over here on the right side, even and from that straightaway there, it is just absolutely devastating for the zombies. And it is just amazing. So those commanders are trying to walk up, get a little bit more involved. So I'm going to speed this up just a little bit, get a little bit more action going. So over here, we're about to get our first couple of waves, add a little bit more interesting tactics because we're going to have to start, you know, getting these other guys involved a little bit more. So the assassins can't, they don't, they're not going to cause any damage on these walls. So they're going to be kind of trying to run through, as you can see. He's trying to run through the wall, but he's not getting anywhere, nowhere fast. Over here, it's total lockdown D. These snipers and machine gunners are just, they're not even letting these guys get off the pads. They're just absolutely dominating. Okay, I feel like I had another pad here. All right, right here, where I had my pretty much mercenary scattershot overload. They're locking down like nobody's business. All right, so we're getting our first row here. We're going to need some snipers to take out that Titan for me because, sadly, they're not going to be able to take out, oh, goodness gracious, Looks like he managed to take out my machine gunner. That's not cool. I'll throw down a Mazda Dove cocktail back here. Take out some of those drones. Knock out those last couple groups. And we are done with Rome. I love it. That is three stars, guys. And that will conclude the Survivor's Let's Play episode slash showdown between Aftershock and Destructor. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And I will see you guys in the next episode.